David Ruffin's departure from The Temptations, one of Motown's most iconic vocal groups, has long been shrouded in mystery and speculation. Often regarded as one of the group's standout lead singers, Ruffin brought a unique blend of passion, charisma, and an unmistakable voice to The Temptations, elevating their music to new heights. Despite his immense talent, his tenure with the group was cut short in 1968. The real reason for his firing, though often attributed to his ego and behavior, is a combination of various factors, personal, professional, and circumstantial, that ultimately led to his dismissal. The Rise of David Ruffin David Ruffin joined The Temptations in 1964, replacing Elbridge Al Bryant. At the time, The Temptations had seen moderate success, but had not yet reached the heights of superstardom. Ruffin's arrival marked a turning point for the group. His voice, rough yet soulful, brought a new dynamic to their music. And with hits like My Girl, which Ruffin led, The Temptations became one of the biggest groups in the world. My Girl was their first song to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100, solidifying Ruffin's place as a key element of their success. Ruffin's commanding stage presence also helped shape The Temptations' image. Known for his flashy stage antics, such as tossing the microphone stand in the air and catching it mid-performance, he quickly became the focal point of the group's live shows. The audience gravitated toward him, and it became clear that David Ruffin was the star. The downside of fame, Ruffin's growing ego. With fame and success came a shift in Ruffin's attitude. As he garnered more attention and adoration, his ego began to grow. By many accounts, Ruffin started to view himself as the star of The Temptations rather than as one member of a group. This shift in attitude created tension within the group. Ruffin reportedly wanted the group to be renamed David Ruffin and The Temptations, similar to how The Supremes had become Diana Ross and The Supremes. This demand was not well received by his fellow group members or Motown founder Barry Gordy. Ruffin's behavior became increasingly erratic as he sought more control over the group's direction. He started to miss rehearsals, performances, and meetings. His absences became more frequent, and when he did show up, he sometimes caused disruptions. The group began to feel the strain of Ruffin's unreliability, and a rift developed between him and the other members. Ruffin's struggles with substance abuse as Ruffin's ego grew, so did his personal demons. He became heavily involved in drug use, particularly cocaine, which exacerbated his erratic behavior and contributed to his declining professionalism. His drug abuse began to affect his performance, and his missed appearances were often due to his substance abuse issues. Drug use was not uncommon among Motown artists during that era, but Ruffin's addiction spiraled out of control, leading to more missed shows and recording sessions. His increasing unreliability was particularly damaging for The Temptations, who had a rigorous performance schedule and a reputation to uphold. The group's success depended on their ability to deliver consistently, and Ruffin's actions were putting that at risk. Conflicts with management and bandmates. In addition to his conflicts with the group, Ruffin also clashed with Motown's management, particularly Barry Gordy. Ruffin believed that he deserved more money, more recognition, and more control over the group's direction. At one point, he demanded separate accounting of his earnings from The Temptation's profits further isolating him from the group and the label. The other members of The Temptations, including Otis Williams, Paul Williams, Eddie Kendricks, and Melvin Franklin, became increasingly frustrated with Ruffin's behavior. They felt that his demands for more money and attention were unwarranted, especially considering his growing unreliability. Ruffin's insistence on using a private limousine to travel separately from the group became a symbol of his self-importance, further straining his relationships with his bandmates. Tensions came to a head during a performance in Cleveland, Ohio, in 1968. Ruffin, who had missed previous shows, was told by the group that he could not perform. In response, Ruffin tried to storm the stage during the performance, causing a scene and embarrassing the group in front of their audience. This incident is often cited as the final straw for The Temptations, who decided that Ruffin's behavior could no longer be tolerated. The Temptations fire David Ruffin. 
In June 1968, The Temptations made the difficult decision to fire David Ruffin. Though his talent was undeniable, his actions were jeopardizing the group's future. Motown and The Temptations decided that it was in their best interest to part ways with him. Dennis Edwards, a former member of the Contours and a friend of the group, was brought in to replace Ruffin. Initially, Ruffin did not take the firing well. He attempted to force his way back into the group on several occasions, even showing up at their performances and trying to sing alongside Edwards. Security guards were often called to remove him from the stage. Despite his efforts to rejoin, it became clear that his time with The Temptations was over. The aftermath and Ruffin's solo career. After his departure from The Temptations, Ruffin embarked on a solo career. He released a series of albums and had some success with hits like My Whole World Ended, The Moment You Left Me, in 1969. However, his solo career never reached the heights of his work with The Temptations. Ruffin continued to struggle with drug addiction throughout his life, which hindered his career and personal relationships. His erratic behavior persisted, and he had several run-ins with the law. Despite these struggles, Ruffin occasionally reunited with The Temptations for special performances, including the 1982 reunion tour. These brief reunions, however, were marred by the same issues that had led to his firing, unpredictability, and conflicts with the group. Ruffin's life ended tragically in 1991, when he died from a drug overdose at the age of 50. Though his personal demons ultimately led to his downfall, his contributions to The Temptations and to Motown music are undeniable. His voice, charisma, and stage presence helped define the sound and image of The Temptations during their most successful years. Conclusion the real reason David Ruffin was fired from The Temptations was not a single issue, but a culmination of factors. His growing ego, fueled by his desire for more recognition and control, created tension within the group. His struggles with drug addiction further exacerbated his unreliability and erratic behavior. Coupled with his conflicts with management and bandmates, it became clear that Ruffin could no longer be a part of the group if they were to maintain their success. Although his departure marked the end of an era for The Temptations, his legacy as one of Motown's greatest voices remains intact, and his contributions to the music world continue to be celebrated.